Okay, I have to say I'm impatient. I need to rework this strawberry bed and I need to move these blueberry bushes. I've made them a new home, but it's too hot for me to move them. Okay, um, anyway, it's too hot for me to move them right now, but this is their new home. This um, strip right here, I'm going to, there's like four of them in there. So I'm going to plant four blueberry bushes and I'm going to move some of the, a um, few of my perennial flowers and herbs over here as well. Anyway, let me move to the regular garden and show you what's going on. Okay, it's the end of July and my first round of beans are kind of putting out. I'm going to save some of them for seeds, that's why they're still there. But then that wet spot down through there in front of them is another whole row of uh, yellow wax bush beans that's going to come up and take their place. Here's something interesting. These are um, potatoes that I had planted and they bloomed and I thought they were ready and when I went to pull them up they weren't. So I stuck them right back in the ground, watered them real good and this has been pretty close to two weeks and I'm first time I've ever transplanted potatoes that they didn't just die. Anyway that white area right there I've seeded carrots. I watered it real good, put that tarp down white side up so that they can germinate and then I can have some fall carrots. This is some more of my first round of beans. Um, I'm harvesting off of one side of the row and I'm letting the other side of the row mature so that I can save them for seed. And then over here is, oh that was a cabbage that I harvested and it's making baby cabbages. Anyway, I have jalapeno, pepper, jalapeno peppers, some dill stuck in there collard greens, some more dill, Marconi pepper, Marconi pepper, some more dill. I stuck dill everywhere. Um, that's a um, tomatillo that volunteered, some more collard greens, collard greens, and some more jalapeno peppers. And there is a volunteer pole bean that had no pole to climb, so it's climbing that um, garden huckleberry, which some people call black nightshade makes little little dark black berries. Let me see if I can show you some of the green ones. Right, let's see, right there. Little green berries. Anyway, they turn black. When they turn black and fall off the tree, off the vine, they're no longer poisonous. People think they're poisonous. But once they turn purple and fall off, they're not poisonous. You can make really good jelly out of them, just like blueberry jam. Yeah, like some people have said, this is the jungle stage of the garden. Here is some uh, kale, more kale. I got corn down along there. I thought it was sorghum. I thought that's what I planted, but evidently not. And I got Swiss chard, collard greens, more corn, more collards, and more kale. And on the back side of this corn, you can see through there, is a whole bunch of winter squash as well as this here it's just like going nuts going everywhere you can see right there i got two monster hubbard squash and then over here on the other side of the corn i have kusha everywhere i've got i think six or seven of them in here they're just going nuts as you can see, they're, they've taken over this whole hill, hillside. I put a bunch of uh, wood mulch on it so that it could spread, but evidently not enough. <laughs> anyway, over here next to the Hubbards, see the Hubbards, is, I can't remember, I think it's Waltham squash. It's like a butternut. They're like thick in here. I have them everywhere. I got babies coming on and gobs of them everywhere. Anyway, that's my squash area all down through there. 
And then right in front of it was another row of beans that I planted that are getting close to their end. And here's a new crop of beans. Succession planting, that's what I do. So I have beans all the time. And there's, right there is the um, beets that are left. I succession planted them. I've already pulled about three or four bunches out of there. And then my tomatoes. They're, um, I don't know, like five or six different kinds of tomatoes in there. Um, I uh, pick off the bottom limbs and I pick off any leaf that looks like it's got any kind of dark spot on it. And um, they're hanging in there and doing pretty good. And I've got some cantaloupe planted down through there. A few zanias. I got a few zanias here and there. I mean, I have like, there's a few, there's one in there. Anyway, they just came up volunteer from where I planted them before. Down through there is sweet potatoes. And along the front side of the sweet potatoes, which I should have known the sweet potatoes would take them over or they'd take over the sweet potatoes is watermelon. And if you look, um, I know where one is. There's at least two or three little sweet potato or little watermelons making watermelons. There's one right there. Only planted two um, squash, uh, summer squash. They're yellow summer squash, and um, they're blooming, and I've picked quite a few off of there and been fighting with the vine borers and the squash beetles and all that kind of stuff, the stink bugs and everything, but so far they're hanging in there pretty good. They're, they're doing good, but last year I had a hard time with the squash. And right there is some more of the... Waltham squash or butternut squash and climbing up the side there it's starting to rain. Up the side there is a kakuzi gourd. Let me show you one of them. They're awesome. I don't know if I'll plant them next year, but there's one right there. See it? And then over there behind the sun, aren't those sunflowers cool? Those sunflowers are um, black black oil seed sunflowers out of the bird, out of the chicken feed. I just threw some of them out there and they look pretty cool. I'm going to save the heads and feed them to my chickens. This is a kakuzi, uh, kakuzi gourd right here. This whole thing. And then this is cantaloupe. And Looky there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Let me see if I can get it in there where you can see it. There it is. I've got like three or four in there putting on right now. And boy, it's starting to rain. I got some corn right across there. Another row of yellow wax beans that are starting to wear out. Some turnips that were in front of that. Let me try and do this before I run it gets soaking wet. I got purple purple tomatillos on the back side and some more cantaloupe. Anyway, before I get soaking wet, I'm going to stop. This is um, end of July 2021.